Hey everybody, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage and we're back out here on the 1969 Mustang Sports Roof. In this episode, we're going to tidy up the engine bay, throw in a thermostatic switch for our electric fan, get a couple other things done in that little area. Um, we really need to get you know our header bolts installed as well. I got a couple of loose ends there. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the quarter off and get some adjustments made. That way we get our rear window area correct. Uh, I'll probably do a little welding. I need to cut the drive shaft and do a few other things to get this thing put back together. Uh, and we're just gonna get to it. So let's do it. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with me. And I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a god never change, play the game now we say Hey everybody, it's Jeff Back out here working on the 69 Mustang And I've been getting a lot of stuff done off camera uh, Prepping basically for today to start doing some sheet metal work so I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on so one of the big things is I run the shaker hood scoop and with this new uh, 351 Windsor I have in here it has the high uh, intake manifold so I can't use the small block um, 351 um, shaker base uh, I'm not 351 but you know small block shaker base so one thing I had to do is I had to get a bracket uh, one way or another for the throttle and for the TV cable. So I've got this mounted on here. Broke my TV, uh, I'm sorry, my throttle cable uh, mount bracket because this bracket's a little too thick so the, it didn't really sit in there right so I had to JB weld it to hold it in place and I just got it adjusted where it needs to be so I get full length for the throttle and everything like that. So that should work the way I need it to. Um, but I got that on there because it was interfering with the shaker uh, with the new intake manifold so I couldn't use the stock bracket there and like I said I needed the TV cable uh, functionality too um, got my header bolts finally finished I was missing two on each side so I got got those and now I have those all in I've also put a thermostatic switch in for my 16 inch uh, fan so just a little $16 one off of uh, Amazon got my um, breaker there and my relay right here uh, everything wired up I need to clean up all the wiring itself as you can see there's wires everywhere including to the back so I need to really tie those up and make sure they're not going to get melted or anything like that um, one of the things I did do with my shaker I needed the big block base so i bought this off of ebay you can kind of see the difference in sizes it's about an inch shorter when you go to the big block base and i bought this from india um off of ebay because it's fiberglass and it's only 150 dollars um so what i've been looking at is like three to four hundred dollars to get the big block shaker base even in fiberglass in the u.s so i just got on ebay and found that and said fuck it gave it a shot the studs weren't in the same location so i had to drill out new stud holes on the actual metal base that i have um, maybe their base is set to go to where it's supposed to go who knows but either way um, this is my shaker and i'm going to reuse everything i can instead of spending money so i just drilled those holes out and it seems like everything's going to fit there uh, i haven't put it on the car yet to see if it'll actually fit under the hood so I probably need to do that but I am about to start over here and probably pull this quarter off today because uh, I am needing this measurement 30 and 3 eighths of an inch and if I remember correctly I'm almost a quarter inch or more off on this side that side is good uh, but I already you know you kind of come up here and you can kind of see you know we're about a quarter inch down here it's stuck over here underneath the lip a little bit so i just need to make some adjustments to get this squared in the way we need but like i said you know did some stuff here in the engine bay uh to get things neatened up 
actually put power steering fluid in here so now i do did verify my new power steering pump is working and my power steering works but yeah still need quite a bit to do in here in the engine bay um but for the most part you know once i get that tv cable hooked up everything is finished under here other than getting an actual decent carb this 500 cfm carb probably is not going to cut it but you know it's good to have it running and everything like that so but all right time to get to work all right i pulled everything apart and now i've put it back together i don't know if it, the camera is working or not because it seems like it's turned off multiple times on me but i re-drilled some holes and got my measurements back to where it needs to be so basically i've been over here hammering this and bending this back down this is your lead fill area so i'm going to try to smooth that out a little bit i might even cut some of it off after i weld it you know you know stuff like this where it needs to be tight i mean there is a lead fill but at the same time I'm, i'll probably chop some of these ends off just to you know make sure we don't have any bubbling up um i mean i'll, I'll hammer it down i might even just get some self tappers and put through here to make sure it's nice and tight um you know that's just how it goes sometimes i got my areas here real tight where i want them uh well i say that but i'll have to do some work over here obviously now that i look at it but i will have to tighten this up some same thing on that side i gotta hammer that all up to where it's not just laying down like that and we'll obviously clamp a lot of it too that way when we weld it it won't be an issue but it's a good start well i know you guys probably not me as much but i went ahead and did some wire cleanup also put loom on all my wiring to make sure one heat and tension doesn't cause any issues we don't get any cuts so this is my fan wire and I got a little clip here that I drilled out and put in same thing here and here this is all the loom to a ground our uh, some of our tack wiring um, as well as uh, the wiring that goes to the a thermostatic switch which I also have a separate loom that way we can protect it from all the heat coming from the engine to not melt that wire did the same thing here with our tack wire our oil center wire and our stock wiring I, I wrapped the, that in there as well and the loom also goes all the way down and into the uh, engine I'm sorry not into the engine into through the firewall and into the car that's our ignition wiring for the thermostatic switch or actually for the relay itself so the ignition hop wire for that but uh just a couple other little things trying to get done and wrapped up you know, neaten things up and prevent you know any kind of wire melts to uh do the aod to the stock shifter so i'll be able to put that in soon now that i've got it all back in place but that's pretty much it mostly just cleaning and organizing in here and i know it still looks like a mess but i need to make room because i need to take these quarters all the way off i went ahead and took a paint pen and circled all my screw holes that way i know exactly where i need to put everything back in place but i need to get my wheel wells uh welded in properly before i start welding that uh this bracket here needs to be welded in all the way so this needs to all come apart so i can get it properly welded and even these are not technically welded in place everything's sheet metal screwed in place so need to get that welded properly before you know we we do the quarters but everything's where it's supposed to be so soon maybe tomorrow i'll get started on disassembly i'm gonna probably continue to uh clean up a little bit try to get things organized in a way where I'm not bumping into stuff constantly so hey hey everybody we're back out here about to get to work this is probably day three day four I don't know anymore so anyways what we're about to work on is a couple different things so first and foremost I'm gonna cut my drive shaft yoke about an inch this should allow it to work on my AOD I've got a nice little chop saw here and uh, kind of just had to get it straight and get everything where it's supposed to be so I should make a nice straight cut and once we're done with that I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, driver's side quarter panel off 
and then we're going to use our 110 welder and get to uh to, to the wheel well so that's the plan so let's get to it all right so there we go a nice fairly straight cut cut off about a little maybe a more than an inch so pretty happy with that i also you know filed it down to make sure we didn't have any burrs that are going to catch anything on there so i'd say that's pretty straight so now we should be able to put our drive shaft in uh, probably not going to put it in right now, but you know at the same time that's one more job done Now I can start getting back to uh, the sheet metal But uh, hopefully probably this weekend. I'll go ahead and get this drive shaft in and make sure we get it bolted up so Then technically with a little transmission fluid I could move this thing around all right nothing special good start we got a i kind of just spot welded up and down this uh because it is kind of a thinner metal and i'm a little weird with thin metal um did that on the front and i'm back this is where i had rotted out extensions i still got to weld this in there but i'll probably use my spot welder to do this but i've got it just sitting there right now i've also got some on the inside i need to weld so i need to take this wheel off and also um you know jack the car up so i can get to it but uh got that and the drive shaft shortened pretty decent little stuff here you know but that's it all right it don't look like much but we got the drive shaft in so i got it all bolted in back here and everything fit really well i had plenty of room in it to get it to uh get into this yoke and everything and and then everything seems to be good on that end as well so all our splines are lined up and going in no problem so another step forward hey everybody thanks for staying tuned for this week's episode we got a lot of work done it doesn't really seem like it i had a lot of issues with my camera cutting off so it didn't record a lot of things so it was mostly me talking and i yeah, I'm sure as, as, as a lot of you, you know, don't want to hear me talking the whole time, reviewing things, but sometimes that's the way it goes. Uh, I mean, we lost a lot of action, a lot of my time lapse, but, you know, maybe this would be better. Uh, you guys let me know. What do you think of this video? Do you like it more when I'm explaining things and what I've already done without the time lapse? Do you like time lapse intertwined in there? Just, just let me know. Que ask questions. Make comments. And we'll go from there. Next week we'll continue on. Uh, we got the drive shaft installed this week. We got the engine all settled in. Got the thermostatic switch working. We got my my shifters back in there. Now I just need to with the drive shaft in. I just need to hook up the linkage um, between the the AOD and the um, stock shifter. So there's a locker linkage I need to put in there. There's an adapter essentially. Um, got the engine bay cleaned up with a lot of loom. So that we don't have to worry about anything melting. Got our header bolts on. Uh, we just got a lot done that wasn't really necessarily on film. As you can see, we, we got the quarter off and I got some things welded here. I'm going to get the quarter back on here after I do some grinding. and Because we've got it marked up and all our spots 
marked so when we put it back it should be in the right location uh, based on the measurements I have uh, on these panels so that's pretty much it we'll see you next week when we get back to welding and get back to all that other metal work so in the meantime peace I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a god never change, baby